if you're ready, Caroline. Okay. Um, so hi, my name is Caroline Sprinkle. This is public speaking, and this is my persuasive speech. So obviously I'm a redhead, and I really have to worry about my fair skin and the sun. I religiously apply sunscreen at the beach, and anytime I'm directly the sun. Uh, but what might be surprising and as everyone else's need um, to apply sunscreen as well, no matter this color of their skin. And so today. I'm going to be talking about um, how many people who may tan well or already have dark skin or really don't burn easily still um, or think they are really exempt from wearing sunscreen and protecting their skin. But um, despite this, or because of this, awareness should really be raised um, through a highly visible national campaign that um, specifically addresses um, the long-term effects of sunburn um, to, for all races and uh, skin tones and skin colors. And so um, given that, um, skin cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S. since one in five Americans um, will, kind of be as, will have skin cancer in their lifetime. And so this is just kind of an infograph on how do UV rays from the sun cause sunburn that often results in skin cancer. And so um, this kind of statistic of the most common um, cancer being skin cancer is from the um, American Cancer Foundation um, article accessed in 2015. And so what makes me be surprising, like I said before, is how people of color um, can really um, have damaged their skin from the sun. And according to this infograph, you can really see the percentages of people of different um, ethnic groups who um, are damaged by the sun, which is from the Skin Cancer Foundation. And so one thing that often happens is people of color will be diagnosed later on in life because they don't realize um, the damage that their skin can have from being in the sun because they might not sunburn or they might just tan. And so um, one thing that um, this campaign would really help is reduce the risk and um, kind of increase the awareness that um, people of color really aren't immune to the sun and sun damage, um, which um, is part of the Surgeon General's kind of call to action on this website, which was accessed in 2015. And so um, with spring break or past and the summer coming up, it's really important to know to wear sunscreen and really protect your skin um, because getting sunburned just once every two years can really triple your risk of developing malignant melanoma and even um, reddening of the skin as a sign of damage, according to the Cancer Research uh, website of the UK, um, which was published in 2015. And so um, this is another kind of infograph and kind of graph on how um, just about anyone can really be affected by this negatively by the sun. Um, and while vitamin D definitely is very healthy for your skin, too much of it can really um, cause um, permanent damage like skin, skin cancer and wrinkles and sunspots. And one thing that young people um, often think is that um, beauty is kind of more important than your health. However, skin cancer or skin um, is part of health and can be part of beauty. So I think being tan is really more important than what might happen later on in life. So awareness should really be increased on how um, wrinkles could be like a part of um, how you're aging and process, which is not necessarily bad, but it would definitely be increased um, as well to your risk of, of skin cancer. And so um, later stages, or many people just really don't know if they need to protect their skin. And so um, my, so my solution is proposing a more visible campaign that really helps target um, specifically people of color and people who don't think they need to protect their skin. Um, the campaign would really emphasize the benefits of protecting your skin as well as um, the risks people are at. Um, this video that was um, in 2015 is uh, How the Sun Sees You and it really shows, um, I use the UV camera to show how um, damage can be under the skin like in this picture um, versus a regular camera and how sunscreen um, helps protect you from the sun, like in the right picture, that's the UV camera of how the um, black is the sunscreen she's putting on. And so visuals like this would really increase um, awareness and show how sunscreen can really help protect you from the sun. And so the CDC and Surgeon General are really helping um, the effort of increasing awareness for um, sun sunscreen or sunscreen cancer prevention. However, it's not really on a national level. And so I propose a more visible um, like ads and commercials 
um, with celebrities that really help um, increase the awareness and um, target the people who don't think they need um, protection from the sun because often um, videos and uh, sunscreen commercials have don't have people of color and I think ads that really um, emphasize their need to protect themselves from the sun would really um, help the number of people affected by skin cancer um, a lot and so um, this more visible kind of um, ad campaign would really help out and so the Surgeon General and CDC have kind of um, proposed like visuals like this as well as the American Academy of Dermatology which was accessed in 2015 on um, visuals of how something can really help you out and um, this is part of the CDC campaign to really um, help awareness towards um, the dangers of tanning and the dangers of the sun, but it's not as national. I know I haven't really seen these around. I haven't seen them online or um, anywhere. And so the CDC and Surgeon General on their websites all have things that might not be as accessible to people and might not um, target people um, who don't realize the dangers of the sun as much. And so one counter argument um, that people I might encounter if for the solution was that obviously there are already efforts being done and it might be too expensive to make it on a national scale, but I think it's really important to make it national and really help um, people of color, people who don't think they um, are affected by the sun, um, see that the sun can really damage them. And I think since the CDC is um, really already um, funding these smaller national campaigns according to their website, like one of them is in North Carolina, um, then they can help fund this national work, bigger national campaign. And so um, these are just some efforts already being done. Um, but one um, final thing is just that um, the nationwide will really help increase awareness um, all around. And so um, people of all colors really need to um, know the effects that the sun can have on their skin. And I think um, the final prevention of sun visuals like this where you avoid the sun during its peak, avoid um, really hot sun, and like wear protective gear was really important and really re reduce the number of skin cancer cases and really increase awareness in the United States. Thank you. Great. So we have just a few minutes. Let's try to go around pretty quickly and just uh, have people say one thing.